will be a presentation by dancer guru sucheta bhide chapekar she is a student of shri acharya shri parvati kumar and also the great guru shri kittappa pillai she has brought out many compositions of king shaji through her research and presentations she has also established a dance form nritya ganga again i tell a dance form nritya ganga has been established by her and she is an expert in presenting lecture demonstrations today she will be presenting maratha compositions for bharatanatyam welcome ma'am welcome dr sucheta bhide chapekar gurus present in the audience and my namaskar to all the rasikas and lovers of the art tanjavur has a very special place in my heart though born and brought up in mumbai <coughs> in a maharashtrian brahmin family my early training was from acharya parvati kumar but through him only i got the heritage of marathi compositions right in my arangetram way back in 1963 i had presented two of the tanjavur maratha rulers compositions and my guru's quest for that continued through which i learned more than 30 of sarfoji's king sarfoji's compositions By 1972, I myself <coughs> came to Tanjore because the thought was going on in my mind: if Sarfoji, the last one, last but one ruler of Tanjore, if he has written so many compositions in a certain way, a kind of a margam which he calls as Nirupan, then probably the earlier rulers also must have written. something and which i was keen to study then a library wasn't as it is today i still have the smell of those manuscripts in my nostrils i used to sit for hours and hours together in the library trying to look up for compositions which were good for dance because shahji has written several types of padas he has written almost 500 padas in telugu and in marathi all the maratha rulers were scholars and they had studied dance and music and quite a few have written uh, compositions in marathi uh, this morning some of you were present <coughs> priyadarshini presented a song which had tamil telugu and the verbs were all marathi shahji actually has written pancha bhasha vilasam a prabandha natakam which employs tamil telugu hindi marathi and sanskrit all the five languages he has written variety of padas shringara padas bhakti padas vairagya padas niti padas bhava padas different kinds of padas quite a few were written on palm leaf in telugu script the padams uh, these uh, today also i went there and saw they are trying to 
retrieve, revive these ancient palm leaf manuscripts because Telugu is as phonetic as Devanagari and Marathi <laughs> could be could have been written in Telugu script. So there was a kind of synthesis, amalgamation of Tamil, Telugu, Marathi during these right from 14, 15 centuries onwards till 18th century. Today I have thought of, uh, if time permits, because <laughs> I was given one hour, five compositions. <coughs> the first one is a Marathi path by Santa Ramdas of Maharashtra. Quite a few of you may know that Santa Ramdas was Guru of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj and he had in 17th century visited Tanjavar during the reign of the first Maratha ruler, even Koji, and had suggested lot of improvements in the, <coughs> the running of the uh, state and <coughs> so many things. So when Koji requested Ramdas to stay here and he says, no, my karma bhumi is Maharashtra. So he went back but sent nine of his disciples and those nine Ramdasi mats are still functioning in Pune. I think Ramchandra, one of the mats where I used to stay, Bhimrao's mat, his son is also works in the MSSM library. He is continuing that Marathi lineage of Ramdas. So this song, first time I heard, heard it in Andhra, in Kuchipudi village, where uh, I was sent by Sangeetha Academy to observe the festival. And when I heard, Tandavan Rutya Kari Gajanana, Tandavan Rutya Kari. So I said, my God, this is Marathi, how come? Dhimikita dhimikita vaze mrudanga brahma tala dhari gajanana tandava nritya kari. Tehiti sakoti suragana dati madhya shiva gauri gajanana tandava nritya kari. So I asked those gurus, uh, how come I mean how this Marathi song and how it comes in this Bhagavat made Kuchipudi Yakshagana. So they said, Marathi? We don't know, it's not Marathi. <laughs> Some words were ch changed. Dhimikita dhimikita vaze instead of vaze is a vazone is a verb in Marathi to play. So they used to say dhimikita dhimikita shauri mrudanga. So Indra is like. <laughs> and Tandava nritya kari actually, actually kr is a Sanskrit verb to do. And from that in Marathi we say kar, karini, karavi. That's a verb to do. So they said, no, curry is elephant. I, I said, right, you are. But Tandava Dhrutya elephant gajanan has no meaning. So finally, but only two sanzas were there. And as I was working here in Tanjur in this Ramdasi Mart, I found the third stanza. Nami Rangale Dasa Sadodita Shobhe Chandra Shiri Gajanana Tandava Dhrutya Kari. So, Nami Rangale Dasa is a mudra of uh, Santa Ram Das of Maharashtra. So, I begin with this song. Uh, I, I felt that I should do it. And actually, it was part of, uh, as we, I came across later in Shahaji's literature, Vinayaka Daru. Initially, any performance, Ganesh comes and goes around, kind of sanctifying the stage. There is a person who wears a mask of Ganesh and Ruddhi Siddhi are done. <laughs> Even in Katha Kalakshepams, they still sing sometimes this song. So I thought, why not do it in Paratanatyam? Of course, this is a ver version. I, I don't claim that this is how it was danced in those years. But this single one Marathi song continued in the tradition because this Always this uh, thought was also in my mind. Why so much of literature, Marathi literature? Why nothing continued later in the tradition? But uh, this is one song which I found which, which was being done. So I begin with Tandavan Rutyakari Gajanan.
कणक 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 ಸರಿಗಪದ ಸದ ಬಗರಿ ಸರಿಗಪದ ಬಗರಿ ಸರಿಗಪದ ಬಗರಿ ಸರಿಗಪದ ಬಗರಿ ಸರಿಗಪದ
present day times <coughs> many times we dancers are asked you have no other subjects than mythology why do you always have to dance about gods <laughs> description of gods mythological stories well there is nothing else which does the <laughs> this so we are the one but also we need to give exposition to the symbolic aspect of it but even taking this into consideration i was really surprised when king sarfoji writes sakhi ne nayak ki is buddhivad sangnyachi kalpit katha kalpit katha is imaginary project imaginary idea imaginary theme and what is this imaginary theme a young bride is being advised by her sakhi on how to win the heart of her beloved well today also there are arranged marriages in those years there must be quite a few and a young bride is little <coughs> nervous going to her in-laws place and usually an elderly sakhi used to accompany even today the friends are always there with the young girl so this lady is giving her really her mind's best advice which i feel even today stands relevant she says tells her chang bhang tu karu nighe saras ne sag su vas nahi when he is about to come home in the evening tired after lot of office work you should be nicely pleasantly dressed not just sitting <laughs> the way maybe you have also worked but then he is coming and if you welcome him how to welcome him with a shy smile and bold look he is yaduvira he is expert in the play of love so he will know but use demure smile and bold look <clears throat> and always respond to him with intelligently remember that also if one day he is not in mood to talk to you you welcome him as usual but he says no nothing doing don't talk to me there is that that don't go and beg of him what wrong have i done why should you should no never do it keep your self respect <clears throat> that also this also one of the advice and in the end 
I feel it's very diplomatic. Maybe today's girls may feel why should we always be at his feet? But the elderly Sakhi says <coughs> that you should tayashi basavoni shayanavari Sakhi maga halu cha paya churuni vanduni javali thak. That paya churuni massaging his legs <laughs> shows concern. It is to show concern. And then, my dear friend, you will not only become queen of his heart, but will also keep him in the palm of your hand. I feel this is advice. Uh, and you know why God should have, uh, would have created man and woman too. Or he could have uh, given that capacity to give birth to man also. Why not? Woman is different. Some things which woman can do. A man cannot and man can do or we can say there is man in a woman or a woman in a man and both should respect each other so we have a pratika a symbol like Ardhanarishwar also so this whole Nirupan Sarfoji has written Nirupana single story today it's become common through a presentation one uh, theme is exploited but that was the <coughs> this idea was already introduced by Sarfoji, <coughs> King Sarfoji in his Nirupana. I present to you, like today's Margam has a chronology. I wouldn't say today's, that is also more than 100 years old. And now, with the given changing circumstances, that is also changing. So, only from Alaripu to Tilana, that's not Margam. Marga is way. Way always leads to some goal. And what is that goal? That is Rasanishpati. So you could, uh, one could try different kinds of Margams also, different ways to reach the same, same goal. So uh, Sarfoji has put 18 compositions. Maybe the time span was <laughs> not so fast as today. And his Margam has uh, Alaru, Shabda, Swara, Swara, uh, Sholla, he calls it Swaram Sholla. Then Shabda, Varna, then Swara Pada, Abhinaya Pada, Pada, Swara, but there is also one Swara Jati. There is Jakkini also and there is Tilana also. Both the compositions are there. So this Swara Jati, today we call when the Swara Shollus are there for Chitta Swara, we call it. Swarajati. Otherwise, Swarajati is like Varnam. Am I right? Same, no? Only when you have Swarashulla for the Chitta Swara, like Chakravakam or Husseini. But Purandara Dasa Swarajatis are different. They are series of Swaras and Sahitya. So, this uh, Sarfoji Swarajati is of that type. Swara and Sahitya. And the theme, as I, I said, advice of an elderly Sakhi to a newly wed, newly married Naika. Of course, we have also added one or two Tirbanams to it to make it full. So I present to you Pantu Varali Tishra Atatala Sarfoji's Swarajati. I'm 
ಸಾಂ ತಥರಿ ತಕ್ಕ ತಕ್ ತಥರಿ ತಕ್ಕ ಧನ್ವೈ ಸಾಂ ತಥರಿ ತಕ್ಕ ತಕ್ ತಥರಿ ತಾಂ ತಾಂ ತಥನ ತಕ್ಕ ತಕ್ ತಥನ ತಾಂ ತಾಂ ತಚುಣ ತಕ್ಕ ತಕ್ ತಥನು ತಾಂ ತಾಂ ತಿಮ್ಮಿ ತಕ್ಕ ತಕ್ ತಿಮ್ಮಿ ತಾಂ ತಾಂ ತಥರಿ ತಕ್ಕ ತಕ್ ತಥರಿ ತಾಂ ತಥನ ತಕ್ಕ ತಕ್ ತಥನ ತಾಂ ತಚುಣು ತಕ್ಕ ತಕ್ ತಥನು ತಾಂ ತಿಮ್ಮಿ ತಕ್ಕ ತಕ್ ತಿಮ್ಮಿ ತಾಂ ತಥರಿ ತಥನ ತಿರ್ಗಿಡ್ತು ತಾಂ ತಾಂ ತಥರಿ ತಥನ ತಥನು ತಿ ತಿರ್ಗಿಡ್ತು ತಾಂ ತಾಂ ತಥರಿ ತಥನ ತಥನು ತಿಮ್ಮಿ ತಿ ತಿರ್ಗಿಡ್ತು ತಾಂ ತಿ ತಿರ್ಗಿಡ್ತು ತಾಂ ತಿ ತಿರ್ಗಿಡ್ತು sometimes <coughs> i do feel that more than spoken language it is our body language of dance which has to be sensitive and that is what reaches the audience and also the music in my biodet i was told that i later <coughs> experimented with hindustani music the reason was in maharashtra even in small towns hindustani music is classical is really heard with taste and understood so what i felt in bharatnatyam it's not really the tamil telugu language but it's the music if they appreciate the music they will look to the dance language because when we dance we don't do just the word meaning it is always the expanded meaning that is what the dancer does she understands the lyric and that's the beauty of dance composition that it has few words but words that speak 
a lot they give a lot of chance for exposition which you must have seen in the morning's recital also by priyadarshini so <coughs> this was uh, this piece i have been performing for very very long time and still every time i do even the bombay's most cosmopolitan audience audiences they always appreciate it that the subject is i mean lyric is so old yet the subject is so new fresh and that's the beauty of classical composition the content always remains relevant fresh we go on to shahaji's padas actually sometimes having read so much of shahaji i feel more than a ruler he was a philosopher he was a poet he loved music in fact his younger brother tulaja has written sangeet sar amrut a which is considered along with chaturdandi and other important texts of carnatic music where he also talks about shahaji and his knowledge of music he never wrote any text on music but has written so many dramas dance dramas as they are called prabandha natakas also he was probably the first to write yakshagana in hindi i also do one of i have selected one of the abhinaya darus all uh, his compositions are called darus darus and padas there were so many types of darus that finally quartet decided that there should be names for darus so we know it each daru had different name in shahji's times his padas do naika pada shringara pada they tackle absolutely different characters like when we study among the dancers are they they would know we study the naika bhedas from rasamanjiri there are naika bhedas according to their avastha according to their age according to their status according to their maturity so many things <coughs> but normally only the ashtanaikas are brought forth in shahaji i found this praudha dhira khandita which uh, of course i don't say i have seen all of dikshetraya or all of other uh, tamil telugu composers songs but i felt there are quite a few of shahaji's songs which treat this different kind of naika bheda she is of course khandita and uh, i must say that when i discovered this shahaji composition now quite a lot shahaji padas there is a book publication which not i wouldn't say very critically edited but at least it is available in print shahaji padas marathi padas but then nothing was there and uh, this song <coughs> the naika is talking to her sakhi she says sakhi यात माझा अन्याय काय वॉट रॉंग हॅव आय डन इन दिस सरस व्यर्थ कोप करीत आहेत वाय इज ई अननेसेसरली गेटिंग आय नॉइट अकळंक वेद पुरीश अस्वारस्य मानित आहेत ही इज वाय इज लुकिंग सो डिस्टर्ब आय डिन डू एनिथिंग वेन ही केम आय जस्ट स्माइल अँड शोड हिम अ क्लीन मिरर दॅट्स ऑल आय डिड i didn't do anything else like normally khandita naika do oh, look at you look at your disheveled clothes look at this that i reject you nothing doing i just showed him a clean mirror swachha adarsh lot of sanskrit words many people ask me whether marathi language was different and spoken language is different yet the language of sahitya i didn't have much problem to understand of course certain uh, recensions i had to consult the uh, scholars of ancient marathi but it is definitely uh, not as old as nanishwari which needs to be explained we won't understand though it is nanishwara wrote common people to understand bhagavad gita nanishwari in marathi anyway so akalank ved purisha aswarasya manita hai what did i do pani siddha hai 
बहु विलंब झाला पा प्रातस्नान करा चला वेगाने म्हटले आय टोल्ड हिम यू मस्ट बी टायर्ड होल नाईट वेल यू आर अ बिझी मॅन यू आर बिझी बिझी समवे सो दिस वॉटर इज रेडी हॅव बात सुगंध शीतल चंदन लावणी अंगे आय वॉज ऑलरेडी शी डझंट से होल नाईट हॅव वेटेड अँड आय प्रिपेअर्ड सँडल बुड पेस दिस दॅट सो दिस पेस्ट इज रेडी अप्लाय इट यू विल फील कूल नाईस ओके अँड दोज क्रम्पल्ड फ्लावर्स रिमूव दे आय हॅव मेड अ नाईस गार्लेट वेअर इट वेअर दिज फ्रेश क्लोथ्स अँड द लास्ट सेंटेन्स इज मग मज सी रमा then come and meet me then come and enjoy with me so she makes him stand on the threshold <laughs> remove all those signs which she knows of what but doesn't express her disturbance at any with any word this is a dhira she is called dhira she has lot of patience she understands her lord she is also proud ha experienced lady so Uh, when i gave this song to kitappa sir because one problem was uh, songs were compositions were there the rag and tal is given but there was uh, there is no notation some of sir foji pieces he does give uh, swaraj and things but notation is not there so sir foji's uh, pieces the notation was made by janardan pan tanjorkar who was the younger brother of कुबेरनाथ पेले ऑफ बरोडा सो ही न्यू मराठी ॲज वेल ॲज ही वॉज ए वैनिका ही वॉज इन मुंबई सो फॉर आचार्य पार्वती कुमार द सर्फोजी स्पीसेस वेअर ऑल लाईक दिस सांग भांग बट हिअर द स्वराज आर ॲज दे आर गिवन इन दी नोटेशन सेम थिंग्स बट द नोटेशन इज नॉट इन ताळा सो वी हॅड टू वॉट एव्हर ताळं इज गिवन अँड ताळं इट से सुरफाकता there is no surfakta tal in carnatic music but it is surfakta in pakhavas it's like the our tishrata so we put it in tishrata so certain uh, hurdles certain problems were there so when i found out chaji belongs to 100 year earlier years earlier to sarfoji that is almost 17th century so i felt who would do the music who would know the music of uh, that century how was it old kind of some ragas like uh, paadi and gumma kambodi i had well my knowledge i don't say it's too much of carnatic music but i had never heard the names of these ragas they were also employed by shahji so i went to kitappa sir and i think it's my great fortune that's what made me relate much more to tanjor i used to come here to learn from him whatever the nine darus and padas which i had discovered then he put them all to music i am dancing one of the <laughs> one of the padams it is set to rag byagada as you know ga kshetradnya padam they start with anapallavi so kitappa sir felt that this pada is of that type so it starts with anapallavi अकळंक वेदपुरीशा अस्वारस्य मानिता हे त सखी यात माझा न्याय काय वॉट रॉंग हॅव आय डान आय प्रेझेंट टू यू पदम
this was music set to music by kitappa sir how much time i have one five minute piece or no वन मोर सॉन्ग मध्यम आवती एज आई सेट किंग शाह जी एज रिटन भक्ति पदास वैराग्य पदास वे ब्यूटिफुल पदास हियर इज वन विच दी लास्ट ऑफ द नवपित भक्ति द टोटल सरेंडर एट हिज फीट दिस इज वॉट दिस सॉन्ग एक्सप्रेस इन किटपासर एज as given in the manuscript is put it in madhyamavati and which i usually prefer to do at the end of the recital di namuna daya kari deva it is as if the <coughs> king himself is saying this well i am the ruler i am everything to these people i have these huge mansions and what not all the money in the world everything but is this shashvata is this what gives me the pleasure what is it really and the answer is i am deena i want only your blessings i am deena not because i have sinned i am deena because i want you much closer to my heart deena muna daya kari deva nana vidha tujha preeti karaya nahi shakti maj shiva i have no i have no power i have no strength to express my in which way to express my love for you should i give you flower garland no you are the one who puts bhasma charchita that's what you are what should i do for you should i offer you clothes nice silken clothes no you are the one who wears vyagra ji no what can i give you yes i know i love write beautiful songs and but no you are the essence of vedas what can i give you oh lord i am deena please bless me give me a little of your blessing that's all i want to rise in life to go ahead in life deena munna daya kari i conclude i hope you enjoy <laughs> there are lots and lots and uh, actually this song in vyagada i never feel i should dance it in mumbai <laughs> for the general audience but i felt raga wise uh, i mean kitappa sir really put, had put his heart and soul in this uh, nine darus which darus and padas which he did music for me and i had danced them in music academy in 75 <laughs> a full performance of king shah ji's composition where dr raghavan uh, v raghavan he had given me lot of appreciation help in understanding many of uh, shah ji's the uh, types of his compositions the darud and uh, he himself in, had invited me and was introducing the program he introduced each composition i danced and kitappa sir was there to do the natvangam i'll just i'm tempted to say one <laughs> memory now that i am getting older i think quite a few of you would understand we think of <laughs> things of the past i said it right in the beginning that tanjavur has tanjavur has special place in my heart uh, i don't exactly remember the year but uh, during month of may kitappa sir would be at home here otherwise he used to be in bangalore those years <coughs> so he asked me will you dance in the temple i said which temple 
Brimeshwara. I said, yes, of course. So that was like my second Arangetram, I would say. And I had done Sami Niram Manave Khamaj Varnam for Brihadishwara, which he had taught me. Apart from these Marathi compositions, quite a lot of, uh, almost for 12 years, I learned from him. And he would, <laughs> he was quite proud when somebody would say, Ha, Ava, Maratha, Karnatic, sing. He would make, <laughs> make me sing. He was quite proud that I was, uh, I'm happy that I could give him some happiness, joy, through these compositions. So I conclude with Dina Munadayakari and again my profuse thanks to IGNA for inviting me and giving me this splendid opportunity. Also Paduka who remembered and who is always there, I don't know, today she's not been able to come probably. But so I conclude with this Madhyamavati song. <coughs>
अर्जू भटल्या नटने तुझ्या अर्जू मटल्या नट शिका मणी तू नट शिका मणी तू पटू विद्येने प्रीती करू भटल्या परी विद्या रजू पटू विद्येने प्रीती करू भटल्या परी विद्या सारू सकल सुख देव प्रीति करु मडल्या शंकर तो देवेश सकल सुख देव प्रीति करु मडल्या शंकर तो देवेश अकलंक दाने प्रीति करु भटल्या कलंक दाने प्रीति करु भटल्या कलंक दाने प्रीति करु भटल्या अकिल दाता गेश तू अकिल दाता गेश All these uh, songs were sung by Shiva Prasad Enen. He is a very versatile singer from Mumbai and has been singing for me for the last 35 years. He speaks Marathi well, so though they are all set to Carnatic music, so some Maharashtrians will always feel <laughs> that they, this Marathi doesn't sound so much Marathi. To my mind, I mean Tamil, Telugu, anything is Bharatnatyam and I love dancing that. But it, uh, these compositions did arise understanding about Bharatnatyam language in the audiences from Maharashtra and that has been my humble contribution with blessings from my gurus Acharya Parvati Kumar and Kitta Papila. Thank you. That was so uh, wonderful to watch all the uh, Maratha compositions by Dr. Sucheta Bhide Chapekar. Now I request Ashish Ji to come on to stage and do the felicitation for her. Please, sir. Arundhati ji is here. 
Arundhati ji. Please, please come onto stage, please. We'll be uh, moving on to the next performance in another 10 or 15 minutes. In the meanwhile, we'll be entertained by the music students of, from the Music College of Thiruvayaru. <laughs> 